think you should be Hey, how's it going guys? This is Pablo with another update on the Red Sea Reefer 450. This time, I'm going to focus on the reef itself. I noticed that uh, lately I've been posting a lot of sump videos and um, protein skimmer videos. And some of the people in the comments have said, hey, you know what, uh, do, do an update on your reef. So, here we go. Um, what I have done so far is I supplemented the Kessels with two T5 bulbs and I have another fixture I'm still debating on on adding it as it does create a pretty big power draw and I don't know if during the summertime it'll trip the circuit breaker when the chiller turns on I have an uh, aqua blue special actually no a blue plus and a coral plus the I was thinking about going with the aqua blue special and a coral plus or two aqua blue specials on another fixture if I do go that route I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera off the tripod and bring you guys closer into the reef I just uh, scraped the glass a little bit uh, speaking of I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Fish of Hex I noticed on his channel he talks about this uh, scraper right here it's a little Chinese scraper it comes from it actually gets shipped out of China and I think it was like anywhere between nine and thirteen dollars and it comes with an actual box of razor blades if you've uh, seen Fisher Hex you'll see him scraping you know coralline algae and the glass on his reef so I thought I'd give him a shout out since it has worked wonders I have tried other scrapers and nothing comes close to that so here we go one thing I've been uh, dealing with is kind of an algae bloom um, ever since I put that Hawaiian um, black reef sand, even though I did rinse it out in some salt water as best I could, um, I did end up putting it on top of the prior um, salt that I had on there, which was in Indo-Pacific. It's kind of a mixture of black and white sand. So hopefully, uh, I've actually been siphoning the sand during the water changes. So, oh. Real quick, an update also, um, I did post on a prior video that I did have some flatworm issues. Let me see if I can get a close up on the Monty. For some reason, and I can't explain it, but I have not seen any flatworms for the past couple of weeks. They just seem to have disappeared. I don't know if anything in the tank has been eating them. I did do some research. I was thinking about getting a canary wrasse. I was looking at fish that eat them. I did buy some of the treatment uh, flatworm exit from Salifert. I have yet to use it because, like I said, there's no flatworms. Before they would be like these uh, Montipora caps would be all covered. Some of the mushrooms, like you would catch them on the mushrooms real, real easily. Here's my mushroom garden. And I don't know why, I really can't explain it. So I'm kind of hesitant to still treat the tank just in case. Here's my bird's nest. That thing looks awesome under T5s. That's one thing, uh, you can't beat the way corals look under T5s. I mean, the castles give that cool shimmer effect. It looks cool in person, horrible on the camera. The fish uh, have taken care of some of this coral here. They broke it up into pieces. For some reason, whenever I, they're on actual frag plugs, I, I put them in the sand bed and the fish move them I'm going uh, to go ahead and take advantage of, of this footage also to go ahead and thank another fellow reefer CJ from CJ's Aquarium um, he gave me this little pointer I'm sure it's been mentioned in other channels but this is awesome you wrap a paper towel on the outside magnet for your algae um, scraper or magnet uh, cleaner and it cleans the outside of your glass while the Magnet on the inside takes care of the inside of the glass, although on coralline algae and some of the hard stuff that grows on your glass, it doesn't do anything at all. My fish are just humongous and they're pigs too. I feed them three um, sheets of nori and they gobble it up. As you can see, it's gone. I'm about to feed them two cubes of either mysis or brine shrimp and that stuff will disappear real quick. They're pretty sh uh, camera shy. But whenever you put those little brine shrimp in there, they just go nuts. 
it's close to their feeding time, so that's why when I get close, some of them do poke out and then they dart away and hide. But that powder brown is just gorgeous. There goes my reef tang. That's the bully of the tank. It's been battling that uh, they get into fights, the powder brown and that reef tang. The fox face just chills, pulls out his little spikes, and they leave him alone. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the reef update. Go ahead and uh, feel free to comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you want, you know, any uh, footage on anything on the reef. You guys can find me on the forums on Reef Central under um, Pablo's RSM 450. Um, I do these videos kind of like the way Fish of Hex and uh, CJ does. Just to, you know, kind of help people out, you know, like, like you see, I'm, I'm implementing some of their cleaning techniques. I get on the forums every now and then and try to give as best advice as, as I can. Um, if you guys can give me any pointers on why or how it is that the flatworm could just disappear on its own without being treated, let me know in the comment section also. All right, guys, that's going to be all for now. You guys take it easy and you catch you guys later.